So I think that what we really see right now is that we're in a very different phase of oil and gas investment cycle than we have been historically. And so when we look from 2004 to 2014, people could have pretty much invested in public or private securities and debt or equity almost in any basin and have made money as long as they didn't sell in 2008 or 2009. And that was sort of what we call a carpet bombing play where all basins made money, uh, debt and equity made money, and public and private investments made money. And it was very easy to see a big expansion in, um, in companies and in private equity investments at the time because every year from 2004 to 2014, we had a shale play of the year. And so in 2015, 2016, 17, and 18, there have been no new big discoveries and so we've kind of left this acreage expansion, land grab, manifest destiny uh, era of shale expansion and we've gone into a more rate of return focused phase of oil and gas investment and we call that smart bombing as opposed to carpet bombing and so investors are having to look more forensically about which part of the basin are they in, where is the acreage that they own, where is the acreage that these different companies own and so we see a big big dispersion, not just in shale haves and have nots, not just in Delaware Basin, Bakken, Eagleford, Scoop Stack, Oily Shale, have or have nots, but in who has the core. And so core haves and have nots. And we see that as a really big opportunity right now, but it requires um, more detailed analysis and more sophistication than energy investors have required historically.